Hey guys, my name is Aaron. I am so excited to be with you here. We're all excited to be with you today. But before we jump into our lesson, I want you to stand up and worship with us.
Wow, guys, that was awesome. That was so much fun. I love worshiping. Do you love the worship? If you have to worship, raise your hand because worship's the best. We get to praise our worthy God who is worthy of our praise. And he's so, I just love him. I get so excited. I don't even know what to do. We get to exist to glorify God and it's amazing. But now it's time to get to our lesson. Worship's the perfect thing to set us up for that. We are starting a new series this week called Good News Network. I want you to pretend like you have a microphone. Grab your hand. Say you have a microphone. See, I got a microphone right here. Good News Network. You are all officially reporters in training. That's pretty cool. I always wanted to be a news reporter, and I am. Look at this microphone. I think we should call this GNN, right? Good News Network, GNN. And each week, you'll be a part of a different type of news segment, like weather, sports, or breaking news. It's gonna be awesome. Plus, you'll be learning the greatest, craziest, most amazing news that was ever shared. Now let's check in with our reporter, on the street. Welcome to the Good News Network. My name is Rich Stolt and I'm a GNN anchor. Here at GNN, we love to report on the good things that are happening around our world. Good news is always fun to share, right? <laughs> of course it is. Now, but here at GNN, we also love investigating and reporting on the best good news ever. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about Jesus, how he died on the cross and came back to life and saved our lives. It's amazing. Best news ever. Now, over the coming weeks, we're going to take our time and dig deep into the Easter story. A lot of things has happened in the weeks that lead up to Easter. Now, even though it's just February, we've got to get started. Jesus traveled. He said things that sounded wild, uh, did things that seemed really weird. And we have to investigate all of it. Now, there's a lot of things he did that may have seemed impossible, but we're going to find out as much as we can about these stories. And we're also going to train you how to be a part of this team, an investigator. So it's time for your first training exercise but meet me back here when you're done. Isn't that good news? But before you can be an official news reporter for the GNN Network, let's look at some news stories that you might be called to report. And I'll show you how to read the news stories like a serious reporter, because these are major headlines from recent events. So let's see what's been happening. Ready for this, guys? I got my briefing right here. Escaped hamster braves freezing temperatures to get to candy store. Yikes! That's terrifying. I would not want to be a hamster at all. That just sounds terrifying. Hamsters are, are, are horrifying. Raise your hand if you'd like to walk in to get camp candy though as a hamster, that's crazy. Okay, let's check out the next hand line. Dogs trained to protect wildlife saved 45 rhinos from poachers in South Africa. That is quite the headline. 45 rhinos from poachers in South Africa. What a good dog. I hope he got a treat, because that's that's pretty cool. And probably a good belly scratch. A good belly scratch would be good. My dog loves a belly scratch. Does your dog like a belly scratch? It, they, my dog really likes it. Okay, now, next one. A security guard cycled for an hour to return a woman's lost wallet. Now, the community's buying him a car. Wait, security guard cycled for an hour to return a woman's lost wallet? That's pretty crazy. Wow, okay. GNN has some really awesome headlines. Okay. All right, next one. Man in Atlanta rescued all animals at a shelter after it caught on fire. That's really good news. Wow, that's really good. I really like that news. A man in Atlanta saved all the animals from a shelter? Thank goodness for his quick action. That's pretty awesome. Okay, next one. 14-year-old Zalia Vant sets world record for most basketball bounces in 30 seconds. Wow, that's amazing. I can't even bounce the basketball once. Have you ever tried to spin a basketball on your finger? I can't even do that. It's so hard. But these are all really good news stories, good news headlines. And it's fun to read the headlines. If you're going to be a reporter at the GNN, which you are, we've already signed you up for that, you can find headlines like these and practice your best news reporter voice too. But for now, let's get back to the action and find out more about the best good news of all. Now that we're all caught up with some local news and world events, we are ready to move on. 
uh, to get some more good news. Now, each and each broadcast, we'll look at an event from the Holy Week, which uh, in the week that leads up to Easter, you follow me? Now, from Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday, a lot happened. Am I right? Now, let's look at one story in particular. All right. Now, here is today's big idea from our broadcast. Read this with me in your best reporter voice. I will show that Jesus is number one in my life. That's right. But what does it mean for something to be number one in your life? For me, I know that my family is number one in my life, and it's really important. But I love being with them. I try to do kind things for them. And I think about what would make them proud of me when I have a decision to make. If I have to choose between something fun like playing video games or helping my family with something, I know how to show that they're in more important than the fun things. But I don't always get it right, but I try. Showing that Jesus is number one is the same. So I can show that he is the most important thing, number one, by the way I make my choices. We'll get into that more in a minute and how we can do it. But first, let's look at a Bible story about a time where people showed that Jesus was number one. Now, as a reporter in training, you need to be listening for details of the events that took place during Holy Week, so you can report on them later. Ready? Here we go. Let's talk about Palm Sunday. You ready to get the facts? Here we go. Jesus and his disciples had been traveling and teaching all over the region. Jesus was spreading the good news of God's kingdom telling people how to live and how to treat one another in ways that would please God and honor him. He also performed many miracles, healing people, and even bringing people back to life. Talk about a headline. Oh, they headed toward Jerusalem, the most important city for God's people. It's where the temple was, and since the important holiday of Passover, Passover was coming, Jesus wasn't the only one headed to the holy city that time. Now, as they approached Jerusalem, Jesus sent a few disciples ahead to get a donkey for him to ride into town. Now, that may sound kind of crazy or even funny to us today, but can you imagine the president riding a donkey into town? Or maybe a king or a queen? No. But in those days... Riding a young donkey was a sign of royalty. It was also a sign of peaceful times. So Jesus called for the donkey to show that he was a, the king of kings, and he came to bring peace to God's people. Now, as he rode into the town on the donkey, followed by his disciples, people came running to see what was going on. They had heard of Jesus and who had healed people and taught about God. And they wanted to see him. The Bible says that the city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as people came to see him. So excited. Now the people ran and and they laid their cloaks on the ground and palm branches just in front of him, laying a path for him like rolling out a red carpet today. That's what we would do. They showed that Jesus was very important to them. They shouted blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. They knew that he was worthy of being the most important thing in their lives, being number one. What an amazing story about Jesus. I love Jesus. He came into Jerusalem as a king as a king, showing that he brought peace. Peace, that's something we all need. And he came so that we could be at peace with our lives with God. Wow, that's so amazing, I love that. And see, the people greeted him. 
greeted and worshiped him with adoration. They were pumped. They were so, well, you guys worshiped just a little bit ago with so, so much excitement. That's how they were. They were so excited. It was kind of like a celebration parade. Do you guys like parades? I love parades. I love parades of all kinds. Fourth of July, Memorial Day, Thanksgiving, you name it, I love parades. That's what this was like. They showed Jesus how important they thought he was. So what's the most important thing in your life? I want you to think about that for a second. What's the most important thing in your life? That's a really tough question. I'll be honest. If you ask me that right now, there's some days where I would be like, most important thing in my life is my wife and coffee. I love them both. I love them both. But that's not really what should be the most important thing in my life. For Maybe for you, it's friends or video games or school or, I don't know, your iPad. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's music. Maybe it's art. Maybe it's something else. I don't know what you're into. Maybe you like to ride your bike. What's the most important thing in your life? It's an important question to ask because they can be important to us. That's not what I'm not, I'm not someone saying that. We want you to have things that are awesome. We want you to love those things. We want you to be involved. But what happens when one of those things gets in the way of Jesus being the most important thing in your life? Check this out. There are many good things in our lives. God gave us this big, beautiful world full of fun and exciting things, people and places. Things like playing sports, spending time with our friends, eating yummy food, oh, reading books, gaming, and watching videos. They are all okay and even good. And God is okay with us enjoying our lives. But when we choose one of those things over Jesus, it becomes a big problem, major problem. What if you're doing church online, but you decide to switch over to your favorite YouTube video instead of watching church online? That is not a good choice. Or what if you choose to skip church altogether because you'd rather sleep in or get some more rest? Hmm. Or what if your friend says they think faith in Jesus is dumb? and you decide not to tell them you love Jesus because you're afraid of what they might think. This isn't new. Even when Jesus was here on earth, he knew it wasn't too easy to get distracted by other things. Let's look at something that Jesus said to his followers. In our verse, Luke 9:23. It says, then he said to the crowd, if any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross daily, and follow me. In this verse, Jesus is telling us that when we follow him, we choose to give up not only thinking about ourselves and doing things our own way. We choose to follow his teaching even when it isn't easy or it costs us something. Making the choice to put Jesus first and follow him is not always the easy road. It may have times of loneliness, heartache, suffering. When he tells us to take up our cross, it's a symbol of following his example. This sounds really hard, and it is. But in the end, we have Jesus. The end result is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Now Jesus gives us the best life possible, a life filled with his spirit and his love. Thank you for being here with me today, Rich Stoll, while we report on this really, 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 really good news. Thank you and good night. Excellent work, reporters in training. I think you're becoming better than me. GNN really needs you. I'm glad we, it was so much fun to investigate Easter with you. I love that. That's awesome. Easter's so important to talk about. And I can't wait until we get to do that next time together. But before you go, will you pray with me? Dear Lord, I thank you so much for the God that you are. You're amazing. You're awesome. 
we've worshiped a little bit ago. How awesome is that? We get to worship and praise the God of the universe, the God that created us with intention for him. And it's amazing. I thank you so much for that. But I pray as we go through this week, and all of us probably have a busy week or a lot going on, I just pray that we remember that you are the most important thing in our lives. Jesus, we love you and we thank you. In your name, we praise you. Amen. Well, thanks for being with us here today. It was awesome. I love GNN. I'm excited that you're a reporter and train with us. And I hope that you can come back next week and do this with us. We can go to the next level of training because you're the best reporter that we could ever have. It's amazing. I hope you have a great week and a great day.